to boldly go where no man has gone before. Greetings. Hello. Greetings. Hello, you. Oh, I met you yesterday. A long Hello. Longer. Daniel. Or should I say... Spock. Hello, Spock. Cool. Wow, wonderful. Bocco Vulcan. <laughs> Seem to be human. Let's see who you are. We know who you are. <laughs> Mr. J.J. Abrams, I suppose. That's right, yes. We have a problem. You are not officially on the crew list. Mm. And um, yeah, who are you? Uh, you know, I'm just uh, the director of uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. Wow. Okay, it's not a track where it's going. Well, we're doing this, sorry. Yes. I thought we were in between. You're really going for um, it here. I've got the suspect here, and I will continue with the questioning. Mr. Hikaru Zulu, Leonard McCoy called Bones, and Dr. Carol Marcus. I forgot I was a doctor. Um, Affirmative. Yeah, hello. Hello, I, Spocko. Um, Spocko from <laughs> Spocko. Uh, Vulcan. You're not going to talk to me in Vulcan, right? No. Okay. No, no. Well, I'm um, from the Starfleet uh, Human and Alien Resources. Shortly, I am from the Union. So I God, hope you man, don't... Where do you get this information? <laughs> That's... <laughs> from the Union. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind that we are taping this. Right. Uh, Good one, man. This, uh, I hope you don't mind that we are taping this. It's owned only for internal use. Um, um, <laughs> I believe I believe in internal use. They're very fashionable yeah. in Vulcan because you're yeah. doing the whole tight jean into the into the boot number. I was hiking like on every. But that's not really high. That's like hiking in the mall. Any complaints about the, your working place on the Enterprise? No. <laughs> no. You snorted a little too much <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> How is it working on the bridge? It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's nonstop, mm -hmm. and uh, you have to carry your position with a high level of responsibility. Because if you if you lack, if you slack in anything, mm -hmm. lives lives can be jeopardized. So that's very important for us to always keep in mind when we wake up and before we go to bed. Any events lately you may want to report? By events, do you mean deaths? For example, yeah. Did anyone die? Uh, yes, lots of people have died. Oh, really? Okay. It's not a safe working environment, let's no. put it that way. It's okay. a high-risk environment. I may be filing a complaint mm. this with Starfleet. Okay. There was a planet in the first movie called Vulcan. Mm. Gone. This is just a general safety issue, but I don't feel that there are enough safety belts on the seats. Because the, the Enterprise rocks so much okay. in movement that when we go at warp speed, Particularly it's not the safe. You just stay Normally, I have a routine here. I yeah. go to the Enterprise and talk to the people. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I scan you real quick? Yeah, you can. You can scan me if you need to scan me. What are you picking up, Spocker? Some people say that you're called Harrison. Yeah. Is that right, Harrison? <laughs> yes, Spocker. My name is John Harrison. Uh, who is John Harrison? Well, I will tell you, he's played by Benedict Cumberbatch. He's a wonderful actor. Yeah. And have you talked to him yet? No. Oh, you're gonna love that. Yeah, are you a human? My, my, the scanners are like not kind picking of broken. Up. Are you? Are you like you? May I ask? I, I you? throw up this wonderful sort of uh, protoplasmic psychic interference, which basically scrambles any instruments that want to clearly define who I am by the name or nature. So, you're gonna have a hard time finding out who I am with instrumentation. Okay, do you, do you have that always when you were born? or do Yes, you like uh, it was, um, some would say a defect, but I would say a uh, perfect that I was born with. And who's John Harrison? I don't have him like on the official list. No, you don't. List. You're really, you're still going with it. <laughs> yeah. uh, John Harrison yeah. is a, uh, a, an interloper. He is someone who needs to be uh, taken very seriously. His intentions are not good. John Harrison is an individual that we don't know who he is, where he's come from, mm -hmm. and what his intentions are. But we are, we are faced, we are put in a position where we have to uh, form an alliance with him. Mm -hmm. And it is a very compromising position that scares us all. Mm -hmm. Who is John Harrison? He's well, not on the list. you know, there's Ringo, John, <laughs> Paul, Yeah. <laughs> And George. Um, you are not on the crew list. No. So um, well, are you like a friend? I'm of still anyone? at cadet school. I'm, I'm, I'm working my up, you know, the, the greasy pole. Uh, yeah. You don't mind me using that term, but it's, it is quite greasy yeah. and pole shaped. 
So um, it's getting there. It's getting there. We are getting there. Yeah. And we will get there. Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> I have another guy who's called J.J. Abrams. I think he works in the engineering room. No, Any he's problems? He's in craft service. He's in craft, craft service. service. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. He's in the cafeteria team. I right. Think. I actually got the name from the cafeteria guy, Mr. Abrams, J.J. Abrams. And, um, the cafeteria guy, the guy yeah. that serves out the, yeah, the, on, he, on the he, dust stuff. Everyone says he makes the best coffee. He does really good coffee and cabbage yeah. and, uh, you know, stew. He's, he's a dab hand in the canteen. Uh, how is it working with um, the cafeteria guy, J.J. Abrams? <laughs> He's, he's a great cook. Yeah. <laughs> he's a, a really wonderful chef. Mm -hmm. So uh, we 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 are we feel very satisfied working with him. You can speak freely. So what do you think about Captain Kirk? We can never speak freely. What is your relationship with Captain Kirk and uh, Commander Spock? Uh, they are my superiors, mm -hmm. and I have a great deal of respect. Uh, for mm -hmm. what they do and how they carry their their titles, mm -hmm. um, but I am not afraid to question. I think the relationship between Kirk and Spock is um, contentious at times, mm -hmm. but u universally supportive. A little bit like yin and yang, because Kirk is a completely sort of a guy who just sort of shoots from the hip and goes with his gut, mm -hmm. and Spock is very logical. And yeah. they both have sort of elements of each other, you know, in the characters, but they, they're often sort of in conflict about how to deal with situations. And there's a really funny uh, relationship that they have. And it's, you know, for me, it's one of my uh, favorite things about the show. Are you a friend with uh, Captain Kirk, maybe? Like because you are on, we the, play on the Enterprise. We have beer now and again. He tends to get into fights, I don't. But oh. apart from that, we're, yeah, we're sort of, uh, we're one of a kind in a strange kind of a way. I, w I might want to file a sexual harassment complaint. Okay. Yeah. I might too. What? You too? <laughs> what? He hasn't touched me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he touched me too, so this is weird. This is very weird. Wow. Okay. okay. Have you been touching <laughs> him? <sighs> That's a different story. There you go. And, um, You're the hunter in that relationship. What? Mm. What do you? This is the giver and the taker in any relationship. <laughs> yeah. Catcher in the picture. Mr. Sulu, uh, <laughs> Commander Spock was complaining that um, you were using the term "vilf." Vulcans, I like to phaser. No. Vilf. Mm. Vilf. Vulcans, I'd like to phaser. Yeah. yeah. Who um, would you like to phaser? Yeah. Vilf. What, what do you think about that, that Mr. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. Say, uh, the uh, Commander Spock has a. Uh, as as a knowledge of pop culture that I didn't wasn't aware that he had. Yeah. It's a betrayal of your people, I dare say. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a bit offending. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Mm. To have such vulgar, lowly interests. R right. Base interests, in fact. So. Come on, everyone mm. likes to phaser. Phaser. <laughs> <laughs> everyone needs to phaser once a, once oh, a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, once a once week. A week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. That's that's what the Not union says. I'm just like. Okay. So yeah. And uh, would you share your thoughts about the other crew members? How is it to work with them? Uh, Miss nice. Uhura, for example. Oh, wow. She's a particular <laughs> brand of... I don't even know what that means. Sizzling, it's, it's like hot. Like, ah. You can touch it and you get burned. Burn. She's awesome. Wow. She's very smart. Okay. She's a looker. Latina. Smart looking. Muy caliente. Latina. Yeah, Latina. Muy linda. I already um, talked to uh, Commander Spock and Captain Kirk, and they said, let me quote them right, you are a hottie. <laughs> um, would you confirm that? Uh, I have to say I'm very, very grateful that mm -hmm. my superiors feel that I'm a beautiful uh, woman, and, uh, and they also know that I'm fearless, mm -hmm. so they have to watch their backs. Mm. These are quick questions. Phaser or lightsaber? Just in general? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you prefer? I'd say lightsaber. Mm, lightsaber. Klingons or Romulans? Mm, Romulans. Klingon. Space or Earth? Earth. Earth. Pointy ears or antennas? Pointy ears. I'll say antennas. Okay. Antennas. Uh, revenge or forgiveness? Forgiveness. Revenge. Um, super strong or super intelligent? Antennas. Uh, super strong or super intelligent? Both. <laughs> Spock punch or Kirk kiss? What? Yeah. I've Spock punch. Spaghetti or fish and chips? 
fish and chips. I'm English. <laughs> Beam me up or hiking? Skyfall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any uh, message to um, the Starfleet fans and Star Trek fans, maybe? This, oh yeah, yeah. This, uh, this thing that they do in Star yeah. Trek, remember? Well, I will say that uh, this movie was not made for existing Star Trek fans. But if you are a Star Trek fan, I think you'll be very happy with, with what's in this movie. But we didn't make this movie only for fans of Star Trek. So I apologize to fans of Star Trek because it isn't exactly the thing that you know and you've seen before. But Star Trek's about going boldly where no one's gone before. So this movie, I think, does that, and hopefully they will be embracing it. You should live long and prosper, prosper. prosper if you, that's your thing. Or in Germany we say, lebe lang und in Frieden. Lebe lang und in Frieden. Do you have a message to all Starfleet students? Yes, grammar is important. Don't split your infinitives. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Thank cool. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Live long and prosper. Well played, well, well, Thank you very well much. Well played. I brought something, maybe you know, it's like a, it's a common test here in mm. the Union. Uh, an old, old language. Maybe you forgot, if you know it, it's German. <laughs> The Weltraum und the Lichtreiten, we are schrieben das Jahr. Zwei Zanzen, zwei Hundert. Da ist in de, de Abenteuer des Raumschiffs Enterprise. Damit seine wir Hundert Mann starken Besatzung. Fung, Jache und was ist. Um fremde Galaxien zu erforschen. Sorry. Uh, neues Leben und neue Zivilisation. That's French, that's not German. Wille Gizare von der Erde an Fremd. Durch die Enterprise in Galaxien, wo. Die nie ein, ein, ein right? Mm -hmm. Ein Mensch zu wo gesehen, gesehen hat. Sing la 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 <laughs> la 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 la